All right. Good morning, everybody. Well, actually, afternoon now, excuse me. Um, glad to have everybody here. My name is District Governor-elect Tammy Mosteller. Uh, we will be coming in as governor on July 1. And so this is the training for your year and your position. And I'm so excited to have you as a part of this. As Connie said, if you haven't already, please mute yourself. Um, also, our incoming district governor-elect, starting July 1, district governor-elect Sean Gibson, is going to have his spring assembly training at the district conference next year. So this very training that we're doing right now via Zoom is going to be done at the district conference. So please make your club aware that the officers will need to attend the district conference. And the dates for that are April 21st through the 23rd of 2023. And that will be at the Marriott in Columbia, South Carolina. The information is also in the district calendar already. Now, um, I want to tell you a little bit about our trainer this morning. Um, this is Sandy Stevenson. And Sandy has been a member of the Rotary Club of Madison County since 2008, and she's served in various positions. She's been secretary, president, public image, and bulletin editor. She retired from teaching U.S. history and English at the high school level in Los Angeles County. And since moving to North Carolina in 2001, she had been an active volunteer in the community. Her latest passion is a nonprofit that she helped start in 2012, excuse me, 2012, and the Appalachian Barn Alliance to preserve the heritage of the area. So thank you so much, Sandy, for being our facilitator today. Okay, welcome everybody. I am uh, going to get started and What I'm going to ask of you uh, is that if you've got a question, uh, you can uh, either raise your hand or uh, type it into the chat and Connie will tell me that it's there. Uh, everybody can hear me okay, so we're good. And this is interesting because a secretary's position is incredibly uh, complex or very simple, depending upon your club. So um, what I learned when I was secretary and shocked the heck out of me is that uh, there's some positions in DACDB, there's four secretary positions. Now, I don't know um, how your club is set up. So it really truly doesn't matter uh, you can do it however you wish, but there are four types of secretary positions on DACDB, and one is the recording one, uh, supposedly the one who maintains the board meeting minutes and the club documents. Uh, one is a secretary who could be doing the same thing as, the, as is listed for the recording secretary and uh, maintaining the club and member data. There's an attendance secretary, and if your club still keeps attendance, you may have a separate person doing that, or that person may be wrapped into secretary or is non-existent. And there's actually an executive secretary, and I don't know if any of you clubs have that, um, but that is the choice of a club to keep that position separate. And it's generally large clubs, unless you just want to give that secretary a really good feeling about being called an executive secretary. What can I say? So if anybody's got any questions, again, um, please just type them into the chat, raise your hand. Connie, can you see all of the people so you can see their hands? So what I'm doing is I'm flipping around to make sure that people okay. have um, and it, people are joining as we're going along. So I'll monitor that as well as the uh, chat. OK. So what I'm going to do in this training is that I'm going to talk first about your general duties and and then we're going to go to DACDB for some um, demonstrations of things that you will generally be doing as a secretary. So the first big 
duty is to maintain and distribute the minutes to the board meetings. So some clubs actually have their secretary maybe take some notes at the regular meeting or they, if you are a secretary and you're on a committee, you probably get stuck taking minutes at that committee. And so, but uh, your basic duty is to maintain and distribute the minutes to the board meetings. So um, that's pretty straightforward. And it is however your club wants it to be done again. And uh, so just my comments would be, when you sit in a board meeting, don't be shy. If you didn't understand what people are talking about, make them clarify it, repeat it back to them. If there's a motion that is made and you, you, it went so fast that you didn't know who made it and who seconded it, you know, stop and ask. If you've got new board members, at one point we had names so that new people would know who everybody was. I don't know if you wanna go that far, but it was helpful to us when we, when we had a, a brand new board. If there's anything, again, that isn't clear, make sure that you understand how it's to be represented in those minutes. And I would just repeat back what you heard and say, is this correct? So it is. it should be pretty casual so that you get these minutes correct. And before you distribute them, we always in our board meetings have somebody, whether it's the president or somebody else who uh, you trust to, to be a good editor, to look at those minutes before you actually send them out to the board. Now, the, the minutes are truly not official until the next meeting when the board votes on them. We have gone through a process in our club of distributing them immediately after the board says, yeah, they look okay, to the club and entitled it unofficial minutes. Another thing that, that helps is if there's something really important that happened in your board meeting, what I would suggest is that the president or you, if the president says that you should do this, at the next uh, regular meeting, just say, we had something really important happen at the board meeting that the whole club should know about and, and make sure the club knows that. Uh, we usually put it in our bulletin also for those who didn't attend. So those are a couple of ways to do that. And when the minutes are official, they should be saved somewhere. I recommend that you save them as a PDF once they are official and that you save them in whatever way your club has determined. Some people are using the DACDB file function. Other people use Google Drive. There might be another way to do it. When we first started out um, a few years ago, uh, when I was secretary, we just printed them out and kept them in a three ring binder. That is not, not, not a great idea. That gets uh, kind of ridiculous now that we have all this technology. So, so do what your club does and when we have uh, the time for the questions, unless somebody's got one right now, maybe you've got some great ideas about how to handle that. Um, so what I would like to do is show you something that we don't do in our club, but I have done it with the nonprofit that that I'm working with. And I learned this, I was secretary for the nonprofit for a while. And I learned this when I was a secretary for Handmade in America. It's, it's really a good format if you feel like doing it. Basically, most minutes are just, who's there? What did you discuss? What motions were made? And um, basically that's about it. When, when was it called to order? When was it? Uh, adjourned, that sort of thing. 
So, but this one is a format that I really like, and I'm just sharing it with you just in case there's somebody out there that might want to try it. It's basically a table format. So you can run your finger down if you're searching for something and you can find when certain motions were made. So it's the topics. And as you can see, they are basically simple bulleted discussions in the topics. And then if you've got a motion that was made, you can find that and what was said, who made it, it's passed. And then the critical thing that we almost always have, whether it's a, um, a regular meeting or a committee meeting or anything like that, you give an action item to somebody and who do you give it to? So um, what we've been doing in our club is, is we just do your standard format and the action items are highlighted in yellow. But um, if you put an action item here, you put the person who's supposed to do it. You're supposed to uh, present a request for this. And it's this person on this date. Finish this, this person on this date. You can see I did a lot in this meeting too. So, so that's just kind of an idea. And it's broken down by, by topic, new business, old business, treasurer's report. You can do it by, by categories in your agenda or anything like that. So if any of you are interested in um, seeing this format and how it works, this is in Word because I, can't sh I couldn't figure out how to share a PDF. And so we always save it as a PDF. And then you end it up by the meeting was adjourned at what time and when the next meeting is. So just a thought, something that you all might, oh, I stopped sharing completely. Okay, back to my slide. Okay, so the other uh, basic duty that, that you have as a secretary is to maintain the important documents for your club. And those are the bylaws and the constitution. You might have some other uh, documents that you consider important. Um, we, we have a history, but we have a historian that maintains that document. Uh, there could be other documents that you have. So those again, Everything that you save as a document, you save it however your president or your um, the, the secretary who precedes you, trains you, where you save it, save it as a PDF. Save it as a, as a word so that you can edit it, but save it as a PDF when you store it, okay? All right. And then um, the, the thing that most of you are probably most aware of. Connie, I see a chat in there. Is that something that we need to attend to before we go on? I don't see a chat. It might be directly to you because oh, okay. I don't see one. <laughs> All right. So, oh, just it w went to everyone, but what can I say? Okay. All right. And it wasn't a question. All right. So, um, so you are basically the person who will update the member records for the club. We happen to have, in our club, we've separated and we have a recording secretary um, who doesn't do this. Um, she happens to be the one who uh, maintains and distributes the minutes to the board meetings. So, um, and the distribution of the minutes, I, I guess I should go back to that because if you know how to use Pmail and you, uh, you can use that or you can keep uh, an email group of who's in your club. And I'm not gonna go into Pmail because it's a DACDB thing. And um, we're going to touch on the basics of DACDB in just a few minutes. So updating the member records for the club. Uh, obviously these are just kind of straightforward stuff. New member information, remove members when they leave, update any changes to members, changes to club position, changes to the club basic information. And then there's a function that the secretary generally does, although I just learned that our president 
incoming president <laughs> decided she'd do the rotary compare function too, which is kind of keeps our records in our club level straight with Rotary International. Okay. No questions? We'll keep on going. All right, why am I frozen? Okay. Um, you've got to talk to your president or the outgoing secretary uh, about any other possible duties. We um, use our secretary when we elect our president uh, designee nominee um, in, in um, December, we have a special club award. So we use the, the, um, the secretary to help with that. Sometimes secretaries order supplies or plaques that you use for your club or whatever. But the bottom line is um, secretary does just about anything. And believe me, when I was uh, the secretary, I uh, did more than I should have done. And uh, Finally, we got enough people in the club who are willing and we split some of those duties out, but, but you kind of are the catch all to, to make everything going. And you are, you know, uh, a really good support person for the president because clubs don't, they have a, you know, a president elect, which they can rely on. But uh, sometimes the secretary, if you've been in the job for a little while, or um, have some of these other duties is a real support system for the president, so. Okay. Sandy, there is a question. Um, is the current secretary the person who is supposed to retain the copies of the bylaws and the constitution? And I, I just, I know you touched on this, but I thought you might wanna just reiterate the saving of those documents for the club. The, the secretary is responsible for saving them, but you should not be saving them in a binder like we used to do. They should be saved somewhere secure. Um, whatever your club uses, as I said, we use Google Drive. Um, there is a DACDB files function. So you can choose either one of those. Maybe uh, some of you could weigh in as to how your club is saving those things or your files or anything. Uh, anybody want to unmute yourself or, or uh, kind of share what you're doing? Looks like a quiet bunch. Okay. I think in some clubs, I know um, in our club, the secretary is basically like a historian for our club as well. They keep up with everything that's done and, and they kind of put it in this nice, neat little format at the end of the year and, and kind of put it with everything. So almost like, a well, we actually, we do have a scrapbook mm -hmm. up yeah. until, you know, more recent years when everything became more, more digital. But that in our club, the secretary is also like a historian. Okay. And I'm not suggesting that you don't have a paper copy of it because mm -hmm. often a secretary will come to the meeting with uh, the bylaws or the constitution to be referred to because it's kind of cumbersome to get to where, wherever you've got it saved technologically. But yes, so both ways are, are definitely a way to do it. Okay, and um, Dana just said they save theirs as a PDF in the club files in the section of DACDB, and I think that's brilliant. Um, Sandy and I spent hours and hours and hours and hours and hours working on trying to gather information from a lot of our club members over the years. They had it on their computer, but it wasn't in a central place. So if something happened to that person, where would those files be? So we actually created the Google Drive and put it in a Google Drive, but the DACDB function that Dana just mentioned, um, I think that's brilliant because then it's going to get saved and stored and you don't have to worry about something crashing or anything and other people who should have access to it can get access to it without having to reach out to another club member and say, hey, will you give me your file? And it reduces the redundancies too, so. Okay. 
is that the chat that came in? Okay. There's plenty of ways that, that you can get help. And um, the, the first three are the ones that are the most logical. Your outgoing secretary or a previous secretary, which is what I happen to be um, and, and know a lot of this stuff. There's a district chair for club, uh, sorry. The district, district, the district secretary. <laughs> and who is, who is that this coming year? Our district secretary is Tiffany Irvin. Tiffany, okay. Past, yeah, past district governor Tiffany Irvin. Okay. And um, the is Billy going to continue for DACDB? Okay. Yes. So DACDB questions, Billy is wonderful and very helpful. And that's usually where you get stuck um, when, when you are starting out. And sometimes the outgoing secretary may not know how to how to do that because you've decided you want to try something new or uh, recently DACDB changed a little bit. So, or the process changed a little bit. So, but there's a couple of other ones that, that if you are really into this, uh, you can go to the learning tab on rotary.org and there's online courses. You go to, uh, as I said, the learning tab and you look for um, the secretary portion of it. There are emails that you'll start getting that uh, come about DACDB University lessons. Some of them might apply to you and you might consider doing that. And there is a discussion group for club secretaries too. So if you really are frustrated about something that, that you've decided to do and you wanna see how other club secretaries do it, and that's not just obviously our uh, district, it is uh, rotary.org. And uh, type your, your dilemma in or look for ideas that have already been exchanged, but you have to join that exchange ideas, um, go to exchange ideas and you become part of that discussion group. All righty, got anything, Connie? No, okay. So um, just before we move on to the DACTV demonstration, I um, want to know if um, there are any questions about we've, what we've covered already. We're going to get into editing um, the club, the member, the club positions, and doing the RI compare. So does anybody have anything before we switch over to DACDB? Uh, it might be easier if you just take yourself off of mute and yell your question out. No questions, going once, going twice. Okay, I think you're good, Sandy. Okay, so now I have to go to DACTV. So where am I? All right. This might be where you have to unsave Un unscreen share and then go back in share. somebody somebody figured out how to not do that i think it was tim radford he was going all over the i haven't figured that part out okay so um All right. Am I still in? Um, you're not screen sharing. So you need to now do screen share and then click on what your deck DB that you should have open. Okay. I have it open, but I don't know how to uh, get back to the... Down at the uh, bottom, you should have your little blue camera. Resume. Okay. Thank you. All right. So... Thank you, Connie. Okay, so um, you're basically in your, your club and what you want to do is pretty much in admin functions. Okay. So you open that up and I, I think, um, We'll start with something that's real simple, which is um, 
the club. So obviously I'm, I'm in Madison County. So this is where you have your, your various club information. So if you should move um, your address, the phone number looks like, Connie, we still have yours there. So what we do is we keep the uh, current president's phone number in there and that should change. And I'll fix that to what, but yeah, okay. And then you've got a few other things like where do you meet? And this is when we meet and it's Thursday and we've just stopped doing hybrid meetings. So I'm going to remove that. And so this is where we meet. The fourth meeting is at a different time. So if you've got um, changes to uh, when your regular meeting start time is, this is where you'd have to put it. You can't have two different ones, okay? Um, and Sandy, while you're in that section, may I say this? this this particular set of information is so incredibly important for a couple of reasons. This is when I go to make my official district governor visits, if the information in here is wrong, I'm going to the wrong place because that's where I'm getting my information from, which I'll probably verify it with you a couple of weeks before. However, there's also a, an app called uh, Rotary Club Locator. And when people are coming from out of town and they're looking for a Rotary Club and they pull up that Rotary Club app, Whatever is in this deck to be is where you're go they're going to show up for your meeting. So if you do not have accurate information under your club meeting info, you're going to miss potential membership. Most definitely. And, and we move around a little bit because we meet on Mars Hill University campus. And sometimes they say you can't use that room. So, um, so this meeting direction should be email or call to confirm. So, and then always find a place where it says save or update. This one happens to be in the top right. Okay, anybody got any questions about the uh, club information? Okay. So um, I'm, I'm going to do another simple one before we come back, and that's the RI integration. This is something where you do, you make sure that all of your information is correct um, here on the right-hand side in your club with the way it's listed on RI. And if there's anything wrong, it will be, something that says reds, somebody, um, Nikki, our, our club's uh, secretary and Barbara have just been here to fix this. So we don't have a lot wrong, but if there's something wrong, it'll show up in here. And then you go over on that same person's name and you click compare and it'll show you how that information appears so it said her address was wrong and it says 300 Mulberry Lane. And what happened here was the two L's were um, dropped. You cannot change anything on the left side and RI. So hopefully your error is on your side. So you just take that like so and you find, sorry, got to move this to close. Oh, and she doesn't have any phones. Okay. So we can put those over there if we want. Okay. And then we close. Okay. So those are the two really easy things to deal with. Let's go back to, um, <laughs> okay. 
Didn't like that. Okay, back to the admin functions. Okay, so um, if you want to do your members, if you want to add a new member, this is where you go. And um, some of your clubs may use the the already filled in form that a potential proposed member has filled out and all you would have to do then would be to change that person showing as a proposed member to becoming whatever um, that person is, which is a, where is it? active member. Um, let me just briefly touch on a, a few of these. Some of you may have corporate. Um, some of you may be a satellite club. I'm not sure that works. Somebody told me it doesn't. Um, but there are other things that, that you can use this for. And you as a secretary, we'll have to have a discussion with your uh, president or your outgoing secretary about whether you maintain a list. Um, I guess you could ask the uh, membership chair too. Do you keep a list of proposed members so that you can contact them about something? Uh, do you uh, keep the interact people in there? Do you keep a guests in case um, you want to communicate with them or there's all sorts of things that this can be used for but the main one is basically active okay sometimes you put well i guess i can go to a let, let me just go to no oh. um you upload files for the member picture. And it gives you specifications that it should be resized um, so that when DACDB gets the picture, they can resize it correctly to 150 pixels. So they're asking you to upload these size ratios, okay? You can upload the spouse picture if you like. We haven't done that in our club. There might be other clubs that do that. Then you've got the contact information where you have the type of email that it is, whether it's home, office, other, that sort of thing. The email address, the member address, The phone information, generally, we, we've only been saving cells for people. And over here, there is a way for people who are new or later if they decide to not be listed, to opt out of being listed. Okay, public or private. Can I just add something really quickly on that? As the person who is trying to invite people to these sessions, um, if a person ever says, hey, I'm not getting any emails, I have found that something happens with their um, spam filter that sometimes it causes them to go to an opt out. So they might not be getting your emails. The other thing is, is I have two people who have signed up for today's sessions I have sent, I've emailed the Zoom link, but they didn't get the email. So I had to call them to say, hey, I don't know how you're getting the Zoom link for today's session. So if somebody says, no, I really want to opt out of the email, um, hopefully let's drill down on that and get them to say yes, because that's it, it is the tool that we use the most, we as Rotary, to communicate with people, um, to let them know about training or about other opportunities. So there are other things where you can put the spouse's or the partner's name. 
Um, you can, if, if they want their business listed, you can put that. Um, previous years in another club, if they're transferring. Some people, uh, some clubs are uh, keeping attendance and uh, award people for perfect attendance and have meal codes and that sort of thing. I'm sorry, I don't know how to do any of those. So if you're doing any of those, you're gonna check with their DACBB person or your previous uh, secretary on that one. And I learned that if you've forgotten your login, this is a place where you personally can go and type in your username, which is your email address, and, and have a button sent to you to reset your login. So that's, uh, if somebody says to you, I, I can't get into DACDB and because uh, I can't remember my password, that's a way to, to do it uh, by, each person can individually sign in to this page and change anything. So if they uh, move or change their phone number or something like that, they can change it without going to you. It would be nice if they told you because we need to know those things too. Okay, so, so that is the uh, new member. But in your regular member listing, um, you can edit anybody's information by just clicking on the edit pencil and that whole page comes up for editing. So you've got their rotary ID and everything like that. When you add a new member, you never put in this rotary ID. It will be assigned by Rotary International. The only time you put something in there is if you have a transferring member. Okay, uh, questions on that part? I'm seeing no hands raised, okay. no chance. Okay. Hands. So Nikki, did I do a good job? She's our club uh, secretary who takes care of all this right now. Okay. Um, the other thing is club positions. All right. So that's where you go, admin functions, club positions. And this comes up under positions and note that you've got an update button up there and note that you've got the year right there. That's the year that we're in. So if you're going to change the year that we're in, then you're okay to go ahead and do it. If you're going to do it for next year, make sure it's there, okay? So um, I'm going to go ahead and change one of my positions. How's that? So you click on edit. I've got myself down as the bulletin editor and a past president. So this is what I'm doing this year. And my end date is the end of this rotary year. Those are the things that I am doing, and if you want to do something, you click that, and then all of the positions come up. So you can say, okay, wait a second. Let me go back, that didn't look right. Let's say I wanna add something, okay. Forget the edit, add, okay. And when you click add, all of the positions come up. And this is where I was telling you that I was really surprised that there were so many secretaries. So this button, uh, this uh, scroll bar you move to add something. So I'm going to add, let's say that I am a corner table person. I don't even know what that okay. is. Okay, Sandy, we're yeah. not seeing any change. We've got the screen up, 
for my club and the people, but it hasn't advanced. Okay. So where you were doing the little edit pencil, mm -hmm. it stopped showing us what you were, and then you went back, but it, it's it's frozen on that screen. Okay. So let me, let me close that. Okay. So I'm back on that screen now. Um, should I try to refresh the screen? What should I do? Yeah, I would uh, stop sharing and go back in. Okay. That's my solution. It's like the old turn right. it off and Reset. turn it back on. Yes. <laughs> okay, we're back on the screen. Let's see. Okay. Yep, I can All see right. your cursor moving now. Okay. All right. So uh, the person that you want to change the position for, you click on that person, the edit pencil, then you go to add and it's got the start date for next year here. You can change that back to this year, but let's just say it's that year. Doesn't matter because the, the steps that you take are the same. You just click here. Is it showing? No. Now, so there might be something where DACDB is not letting you okay. share this. That's really weird. All right. So do you have the screen where it says add club positions? No. You didn't even get that. Okay. No, it stayed right on that screen with the listing of the people. So once you clicked on the pencil, that's where it stopped. Okay. All right. Hey, Sandy, let me say also that um, I spoke to Billy Black this morning, and she's going to go really in depth on how to do club positions on there. So. Okay. So right. jump back so, on at four o'clock for that if you want right. to get a little more in depth. Okay. Um, really, that that is all that I have on uh, working with that. The other thing is if you are um, here, this is where your club files are. If you have not activated that, you can, are we okay with what you see? Okay, there's the configure up here and some of these things that were not icons for you. If you see in your club that files is down here, you just move it, grab it and move it up, okay? So click on the files and um, you, you have a choice of having them public or secure. Public means that anybody can get to them. So probably you don't want that. So the secure files are the ones that, that you put in that you have people who can use DACDB have access to and they, they should be in there. Okay. So that's the, the club files. That's where they are. Okay. I am, there's uh, four chats. Did you see any, Connie? They, they were from when your screen was frozen. Okay, gotcha. Okay, so I have finished what I want to say. I Should I stop sharing? That would be helpful. That way we can okay. see everyone. Get everybody up. And um, the thing that I found most helpful when I went to secretary training when it was in person was that people shared things that they were doing or asked other people about questions that they had um, that somebody else might help them with. So um, this is your chance to do it. So um, unmute yourself and ask your question or however you wanna do it. I got a quick that question, might. Sandy. <laughs> oh. Can you hear me? This is Jim, Jim from uh, uh, Spruce Pine Rotary. Yeah. Um, I just submitted a grant proposal and my president, Marvin, uh, is not able to see his name show up uh, as a club signature authority. I've went into the admin under my, my district admin, added him and Robin, who's our upcoming president, and moved their names from the left side to the right side, highlighted their names. 
and he says he's still not able to see uh, his name as a signature authority. Is there anything else that I'm not doing that he needs to, uh, or, I mean, is there anything else that I need to do basically for, so that way he could submit it before the deadline, which is in a few days. Sure. I'm going to defer to either Connie or Tammy because yeah. um, that's a, a grant function rather than a, than your yeah. function. So I, I would say John DeWitt, contact John DeWitt. Don't you think Connie, that'd be the best one. <laughs> and John oh, is here. Yes. I was, I was going to recommend that yep. John um, <laughs> pop in and give some advice. Yep. Yes. Be glad to. It's a dollar an hour lately. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you've got to be in the grant function section and in the grant function section you'll have on the left column uh, audit signatures you go into that and then you'll see your club and then you go it but you have to do it under the grant go to the district grant and to your club grant and you'll see the section that authorizes signatures but you do it under the grant section not under the section okay all right. Thanks, John. I, that's where I was at. And I highlighted his names. I went into my, uh, my, my club, club grants, admin on the left, moved his and Robin's name to the right, highlighted their names or in the little circles, and then saved it. And then, and then the two items that were on the right became a zero items. But if you clicked on the zero items, you could still see their name. What club is it? Spruce Pine. Spruce Pine. Yes, sir. Okay. See, I'm, I'm, I'm the incoming secretary, but I'm also going to be, I guess, writing grants as well. So. Good. I'll go, I'll go in and take care of it. Yeah. Okay. And thanks, Jim, John. And Jim, make sure that your incoming president has their goals in Rotary Club Central by the 20th. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Will do. And, and final reports. Yes. Yes, I saw that. And, and, and you attended. And you attended. I'm new. And did I'm, you attend the district management conference? Yes, I yes. did. Well, yes. I, I attended the the grant training. You know, yeah. I attended it. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Your, grant, your, yeah. your, grant, your grant will be approved. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, okay. John. Uh, did we other... throw enough information at you, Jim? <laughs> Uh, well, I just joined about last year and the end of the year, and I'm, I'm the uh, 2023 president, I guess. Uh, <laughs> so I'm, I'm learning how to be the secretary this year. So. Oh, good for you. Yeah. Thanks that for was, all your help, though, by the way. Appreciate that it. That will serve you Very well informative. to be the, uh, the secretary. Um, are there other questions for Sandy? I want to be sensitive. We've we're in the last 12 minutes of this session and Chip has joined us. He's actually membership, which is the next session. So we need to make sure that we're uh, moving this along. Other secretary, I've been club, sec not club secretary, but I've been secretary for a lot of organizations. And I will say it keeps me on my toes. I will say I love doing it because it forces me to really be aware and ask questions and really do the deep dives on everything associated with the organization. So I often am the secretary just because of that. And I, I have to second that. Um, being a president was uh, really easy after being secretary because you are the, the president's support and you know more than anything uh, about what's going on with the whole club. So that's, that's really, really a helpful thing. And um, it's a fun thing because uh, you, you learn so much about the people and you really connect with everybody and, and people sort of rely on you for, for information. And it's, it's a good place to be and you'll love it. So are all of you going to be secretaries next year? So I, I know there's uh, some president elects that, that had signed up, but uh, I wasn't sure. Okay, cool. Connie, is is a, uh, does everybody automatically get to the level where they can get into the system at that level for secretary? You know, like a level one, two, three. Is it has that automatically been done to everybody? Once people are um, set up as incoming secretary, DACDB recognizes that function okay. and will give them the level in DACDB that is a, a 
uh, co commensurate, is that the right word? Right. Is, uh, yeah. Applicable for that particular role. Yeah, yeah I, did, I hadn't checked and I just- So just, yeah, just make sure that you you are in as secretary elect in this uh, rotary year. Right. Thank you. Right. If you're having any problems whatsoever with any of this stuff. And um, the, uh, I, Connie, um, asked me to do this training. I am not the district secretary. So the, the main question should go to the people that, that I directed you to, but I'm, I'm certainly, if you see me at anything, uh, you're certainly welcome to ask me any questions that I can answer, but the most current information would be from your um, Billy for DACDB and Tiffany for secretary and um, anybody else who, uh, like John DeWitt for, you're doing grants next year for the district, John? Yes? So so that, that kind of thing, because you're gonna be doing probably more than the secretary's job. And thank you so much for coming. It was great, we appreciate it. Thank you so much, Sandy. Sure thing, thank man. you. We thank, I appreciate you filling in for Tiffany Irvin, who I think did it last year. Um, she was not able to do it this year. And she said she felt like that maybe a club secretary would be a better someone who had been club secretary would be a much better because she's the district secretary, but a district secretary is very much different than a club secretary. Okay. Hope that helped. Connie, yes. did you stop yes. recording? Um, I have not yet stopped recording. I wanted to let everyone know that um, <clears throat> these, the presentation that Sandy has given us, as well as a recording of this session will be made available in the coming week. We will send out a link. If you have anyone in your club, it can be a year from now if they want to see this session. I actually watched the one from last year, <laughs> last week. Um, so, so these are available. They'll be on the YouTube and um, the, the tools are there for you to succeed, but also the people are there for you, you to call on and ask questions of. So Sandy, thank you very much for stepping in. You know, it's, it's kind of tough when you've got a club member that you know is really good at something <laughs> and uh, you don't have a trainer, a, a, a secretary to train. So I, yep. I asked her and she said, yes. So thank you and uh, have a good rest of your day. Your husband's up later on today. So right. uh, yep. if you're yep. involved with youth, you'll see, see Mike later. Okay. Yeah, Bye, everybody. And hang on here. Yeah. If you're for membership, just 